cool let's do one more thing here um, I want to try to do I think it's a uh, Rx equals 10. Yeah, give us a little rounded borders. So we can come over here and say background border radius equals 10. And then we'll just copy that and plug that in right here. I'm going to bump it up to 20. It's at your discretion. All right, so now let's come down here and say render x axis. Make that a function. And we can collapse this config here. And collapse this, collapse that, collapse the render background. Now, one of the things we probably want to do is set up some sort of like padding. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some space up here and say const x margin equals 50. Const y margin equals 50. And const padding from screen border equals maybe like 20. And then after we render the background, render x axis. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to return uh, we'll return to G and we'll give it a key of X axis and then let's just put a circle like right over here right over here and then draw a line between the two how about that circle so for SVGs, we need to see X. We need to see Y. We need a radius. I hate that. We need a fill. We need a stroke. And uh, we need a stroke width. Why not? Let's give it one for now. So, CX. We're just going to put this on the X margin. CY. We're going to say this is going to be the container height minus the Y margin. Right? Radius. We'll give it five. Fill. We'll give it black for now. And the stroke will give it black for now. So there we go. We got our first little circle right there. And we will make all of this configurable. So let's take the circle. <clears throat> Hopefully this makes sense. Our X margin, we said go 50 from here. We said go all the way down and then go 50 back up. And then we gave it five. So let's copy all of this. Put this here. Now our CX needs to be all the way over here minus the 50. So we'll say container width minus the X margin. The height is going to be the same. And you know what? I bet you there we go. We have two dots for our chart. It's pretty sweet, right? Super simple. Not any kind of hard math going down here. Now we need a line to connect these two. So let's just create a line. And SVG for line, we need an X1. 
and that's going to be here. It's going to be x margin. And we need a y1. That's going to be here. So container height minus y margin. Now we need an x2. That's going to be the same thing as this. So container width minus x margin. And we need a y2. <clears throat> and that's going to be the same thing as this guy. So container height minus y margin. <clears throat> and let's make sure this guy is a subtract. We need a stroke width. That must be 1. We need a stroke. And that'll be black. <clears throat> and there we go. <clears throat> Let's finish this video off by making these configurable. <clears throat> so all these black colors, these, these, well, let's look at this, uh, the line here. So we'll say axis color. That'll be our axis color. We'll take that. And we'll make this our stroke. <clears throat> and then we'll have an axis circle color. Axis circle fill color. That's going to be a fill for our circles. Axis circle stroke color. Oh, it just wants me to put a space in there. Let's just go with red for a second just so we can see that these are good. Paste that there. Paste that there. There we go. Little red circles. We'll leave it red for now. We'll change that later. <clears throat> and then, oh, our stroke width. Spelled it wrong. That's okay. And we'll leave, we'll, uh, we can make that, we can make that, uh, axis stroke width equals one. We'll put that on all three of these. You can break them all out if you really wanted to, but. <laughs> For now. We're going to leave it at that. In the next video, we'll come back and we'll work on our y-axis. <clears throat>